All right. So we have learned about parallelograms, and then we've learned about a special type of parallelogram called a rectangle. So now we are moving on to rhombi and squares. Rhombi is the plural of a rhombus. So that's going to be our first question. It is, what is a rhombus? And you should be putting this into your notes. Because this is what I'd be doing if I was in class with you. So what is a rhombus? And a rhombus is a parallelogram, so my 11 gram or parallelogram, that has four congruent sides. So all four sides must be the same length. <clears throat> so our next condition, our next question is going to be what conditions can you test to see if a parallelogram is a rhombus. So again, according for it to be a rhombus, all four sides must all be congruent to each other. <coughs> so the conditions that will happen in here, it, it will happen that the diagonals are perpendicular. So when you have one diagonal and another diagonal, these have to form right angles. So how could you test for that? Well, you could test for that with slope. You would be looking for opposite reciprocal slopes. So if you don't have all that caught up, just pause the video so you could fill it in. Again, this says opposite reciprocal slopes. That's how we would be checking to see that um, it really is perpendicular. And what else would also be true? Well, the diagonals will bisect their pair of opposite angles. So here is our little quick sketch of a rhombus. And these two diagonals that have to be perpendicular, they also have to be bisecting the angles. So this measure of this angle here has to match here. And this angle over here is also going to be bisected. And the same case would be true on the other, that these two are in half, and this angle has split into its two halves as well. And when we are proving, we need to, we need one pair of consecutive sides proven congruent. So if we already know that we are in a parallelogram where opposite sides are definitely already congruent, so this is given that it's a parallelogram, we only need to prove that one pair of consecutive sides is congruent because if one set is, then the other set automatically will be as well. So our final question for today is what conditions, sorry this is so sloppy, it's hard just writing with a finger, so what conditions, is that word, make a parallelogram a square? Well, in order to be a square, we need four congruent sides and four 90 degree angles. So that means that our parallelogram must pass the tests for both rectangle and rhombus. So a square is a special kind of rectangle and a special kind of rhombus. So if you have a rhombus that's also a rectangle, it must be a square. You're going to be working in your book today in section 6.5 and your assignment is numbers 7 through 12, 17 through 20, 20 to 23 through 33, just the odds in that section, and then number 46. 
Now remember, you're getting your class time on Wednesday in class to work on this. So if this is not something you need to have pre-worked at home while your sub is there, you should be getting out your textbooks and you should be working through this section while you are there. Um, and then I will be back to class on Thursday and we will go over the workbook page and this 6.5 section. I'll see you Thursday.